Hi this is Lucy and today I am going to show you how to build the Alpardo. It's a 1929 Home Builders catalogue build <laughs> and um, I, think I, I think I've done a pretty good job. If you're interested in learning how to build this you will need to be able to offset foundations using either catwalks or a ladder and you will need a flamer trap or a friend in PvP to destroy items. If this is something you are interested in, please stay tuned. So I'm going to start with a quick tour. We are, as you can probably see, in the Toxic Valley. I have pondered, I kind of was looking for a kind of deserty feel and I wanted to build somewhere that I haven't built before. So you might be able to see over there, we are near Wavy Willards. I will show you on the map. So we are here. Hemlock holes, and if you're new to the game, the vault, vault 76, is down here. So I saw this on Pinterest. Um, it's an American design for a house called the Alpardo. It was published in 1929 in the Home Builders catalogue, and it is apparently a Spanish colonial revival Monterey style. Although I get the first but I don't know what Montreux style is to be honest but um, I've always wanted to do this kind of build in 76 and of course we now have the red roofs so and it didn't have any of those kind of Castilian tiled edges so I kind of thought I think I can build this in 76 so I did <laughs> out the front obviously you can come up here or here this area is fairly flat once you get off the road. There's this dip. Um, there were a lot of dead trees here, so I have a few strategically placed trees and bushes to suppress them all. And there's even a rock here because the tree kept coming through the bush. But I think it looks fine. Uh, we have this sort of deck out here. The house faces west so it gets the sun in the afternoon um, I use the Halvatia doors this is the workshop uh, in the original plan for the build this was actually the sitting room with an arch throw um, it's obviously too narrow for that I mean you could make it one more deep but budget wise yeah, about 95% budget used. And also you would have a problem having it three wide because these red roofs do not come with a top ridge. So you'd probably have to make it four, so it might, might not be doable within the budget. I use the Mistress of Mysteries doors because of I quite like the arch. Um, this is the Halloween haunted house set, but if you use the door, you get a bit of um, sort of leafy stuff sticking through the wallpaper, and it was kind of annoying me. We have a half balcony here, which this roof is almost perfect. The problem was I used a I lowered a foundation to get the roof lower, um, but the foundations here are only there's three tiles three bricks I'm going to try for four when I rebuild it so I can get the foundations a bit lower so we can get that roof perfect I mean it's imperceptible really from the road so it's up to you obviously we're covering the foundations with the brick wallpaper I didn't do it on the side or the back mainly because of budget so this is the kitchen diner. I kind of tried to go quite traditional uh, with the decor in here. 
couple of people recently have asked me how you merge items into these counters so I'm going to do a short for my building technique techniques library on that soon this is the sitting room um, originally I only had two windows in here but it was actually quite dark because of the dark red and the floor so I decided in the end to put four windows in which did mean I had a desk in here I had to sacrifice the desk two dark gods at midnight on Halloween obviously um, so yeah that's pretty standard I have merged these little planters into the bandstand from the kind of mini house set we got to make them look like they're in planters in pots don't think I've done anything unique or new in here upstairs I did use these railings for banisters because I needed something and obviously the white vault tech railings just would look hideous in this house so there was a small reading nook here this is the bedroom I use this hunter's bed which is absolutely disgusting <laughs> I might re I might take it out and replace it with the uh, other four poster I mean, it's a lovely bed although we have the same problem as we have with a lot of these beds is that they are made for hobbits um, I mean I'm five foot one five foot two in real life I could probably I lie on my back <laughs> when I sleep so I don't know yeah there's this weird short bed thing it just needs it needs scaling up I, I honestly don't know why they did this it looks like a child well they're child children's beds so and they've just used kept that scale and I don't know why who knows with Bethesda obviously because of the offset foundations we have these kind of large sort of open areas up here and downstairs this is the balcony you can sit out here I did notice the other day after you know spending a lot of time on all my characters training around getting the ingredients for this thing that we have a rhododendron one and I don't know where it came from maybe it was a season reward I have no idea that one is just carbon or whatever it's just a regular build item so yeah expect to see more of them <laughs> less hassle um, I went I tried to do something a bit different with the bathroom it is two tiles wide I've got his and hers sinks something else that um, was completely accidental and I haven't been able to replicate it in the kitchen because of merging into those counters I wanted these to be identical so I merged one down and then I blueprinted it and put it down and when I merged the blueprinted one you didn't get the wood through from the uh, underneath which I can't quite figure out why so I got another blueprint out and merged that as well so you can actually see the sink and not the uh, counter kind of went for a gold theme in here so that's pretty much it I am pretty happy with how it turned out so now I will show you how I built it I'm going to start with some foundations and I'm going to line this foundation up with the road like so and I am going to raise it up slightly take one of these slopey bits and I left this here deliberately so that I could eyeball where I needed pieces to be so this is the workshop area it is three by three now 
Now I will be offsetting the next part but I'm going to do it in a slightly different way but I am going to place these like this to start with and for some reason that floor will not go in, it will now and then we need the sitting room which will be here I think Right. Now, the reason I've done it like this is because we are going to need a floating double walled top wall arch. And you'll see what I mean. Put two double walls. And a brick top wall arch. Place some flat roofs so that you can flame a trap this. We are going to double wall with more brick and destroy them because when we do that we can leave them floating. We can remove all this and the walls. We need to offset this foundation, these foundations in the middle by half. So we will move these ones down. So it should look like this. We need walls. This should be in the middle because it will be for the roof here, for the end of the roof here. I think I put a window in here if not I'm gonna put one in now so it'll be a small window at the top so two halves now we are gonna to have to want to double wall these um, but the other thing we want to do is we need to lower the foundation I should have plenty of space now for the roof but to test whether the roofs in this right place we need to Put some walls up this end and attach some roofs. Now I am going to be using the green roofs because the red roofs have terrible collisions so I'm going to temporarily put a green roof or I will be doing all of the roofs green and then changing them at the end. I'm going to try and offset this foundation by a half and hopefully we will be able to lower it sufficiently make sure that you don't pull it towards you too much or you lose the position you can use the 
lowering trick which should keep it in the right place but it's obviously lowers it quite a significant amount so right it is actually still a little bit high so we will need to lower it a bit more be aware when you lower it manually like that that it will move it towards you so make sure that you um, compensate for that right there we go I'm happy flatten the roof so that you can remove these walls put your foundation back remove that one we will flame a trap that later so that we can get the rest of the roofs on now before we put any more walls on we need to double wall these walls now because we have two rows of these we can just move the first row out without losing the offset and double wall like so this one will be fine if you put a window in if not just double wall in the usual manner same over this side now you might have a problem getting this wall on <laughs> this is why I did it before I put the double wall on but if you do have a problem just flame a trap the roof Toilet, flame a trap. And a generator. Put your floors back. Right, the rest of the walls. This section is just all four walls. For the front, just use a catwalk. Any size catwalk. I usually use a quarter because it takes up less space. Put a lower wall on. And then you should be able to just double wall like so. And up here. Same for this one. Lower. Lower. Double wall. Double wall. This section is going to be two half walls because we're going to be putting those small windows in the top. Same on the back, although we don't need to put, I mean it's up to you if you want to, put the lower walls all the way around and have the brick all the way around. It's up to you. For this section, um, I, it actually confused me, which is silly really, because it's not that complicated, but to give you a visual, this is the walkway, this is the workshop, 
but the walls are only here although you do have one on the end so it's only one by three but you have that kind of covered porch area we need top wall arches to get the roofs on there and you will actually need half walls along this section so that it meets the apex of the roof we need top wall arches on the front and back here as well so go around and double wall the lower walls we'll do all the flamer trapping at the same time um, in a minute yay flamer trapping I generally use a catwalk to double wall you can use a foundation it's up to you you don't uh, don't think you actually need catwalks to do this build you can offset by half a foundation using a staircase a half floor and then another staircase down now I'm going to put the upper floors on and I should have thought about this earlier I'm going to do this with the catwalk if you don't have catwalks then you can just put the ladder in a normal position and um, you should still be able to get the bathroom in here I can't see that being a problem um, put a half catwalk down remove this foundation temporarily I just think it gives the upstairs more space attach your staircase ladder to the catwalk remove the catwalk put your foundation back we can put these walls back on Because there are no patterned pieces on the um, half floors, I just generally use the regular set. I mean, if you want patterns, I mean, I did put a pattern in the bathroom, um, then by all means do so. Can they get another half in there? Now the one thing I did find, um, because I did at one point have to take the floors off because it went horribly wrong, was I ended up needing a few ladders. So I found that this pattern, so that this follows, it's the, it's the half floors, they create problems. And then put half floors on the sides and then a half floor for the balcony um, if you don't know if you haven't done floor, floors like this before be aware that you cannot remove the floors and the ladder if you want to take the floors off I found it was easier to take these walls off on this end and just attach a ladder to this foundation here going to add the roofs as I said earlier I am using the green roofs because you will you will not be able to get a wall under if you put the red roofs on you won't even be able to get a wall underneath them so they are very tricky I think it's because they're thicker I mean they shouldn't be thicker than the regular ones but they are now I had a problem getting oh it's going on today we don't actually need this wall although that possibly was why I had a problem getting the roof on but they do snap to the apex as well so just put these roofs on 
If you can't, just put the roofs on flat and um, lift them up. But you have to do all of them so that they match. The roof should just simply snap over this one like so. We need to add the walls for the bathroom. And top wall arches. If you had to put the roofs on in the flat position and then elevate them, you will not get those top wall arches in there like that. But if you flatten the roofs, they will snap on top. But we are going to flatten the roofs anyway because it makes it much easier to flame a trap these top wall arches. Now we need to go around and double wall all of these top wall arches and all of the half walls. Yay, flamer trapping time. Right. Like the top of this floor uh, or this roof, it's much easier to flame a trap all of these if you just flatten out all these roofs. With the half walls here, just put your flame a trap on a stash box to destroy it both at the same time. If you move your stash box once and let go, <laughs> it should keep the wire no matter where you move your stash box. Don't forget to store your flamer trap between um, sections so that you don't need to repair it. And I nearly forgot, while we got the flamer trap out, I did put a short wall here, just two sections like that. Flamer trap and double wall that as well. Either put a foundation, I've got rocks everywhere, either put a foundation down here or a catwalk to double wall these half walls. around and double rule the rest. I use this set to double wall the top wall arches. I th I don't know which set it is. Might be the Enclave, might be the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. You can lift all of the roofs to make sure that everything's working before you repair all. Oops. Sorry, Nora. Um, just to make sure everything's lined up because some of these roofs will not go in unless things are flamer trapped. So it's better to do it now.
And also double check that you haven't missed anything, which is my usual trick. It's starting to look. I'm going to put the railing on as well. When I originally built this, I got to this stage and I decided to try and get a pillar in there. Although, of course, because this roof is longer, it wouldn't fit. So I found that out. And then when I tried to pick up, I, I flame trapped the fence, um, the railing. When I went to pick up my generator, I accidentally scrapped the roof. <laughs> Yay! So. <laughs> it's easily done. Um, I do find that you can usually get this in without the wallpaper on. It's much easier to get it in. It kind of uses, it sort of counts the wallpaper as an object. Uh, okay. Here we go. So that is the railing for the balcony. Right. Going to try and find my camp widget <laughs> and repair all. Ah, oh, there it is. Woohoo! It's starting to look okay. <laughs> We're getting there. I'm going to get back up on the roof, just so I don't get eaten by something. Right, go around and change these to the... Haunted House set, kind of little arch windows like so. If you haven't got this set, just use whatever you want, really. All of these on this section are windows at the bottom. I always confuse the contemporary and the, the haunted house set because they look similar in the menu. And yeah, upstairs, I think only this side are windows because obviously we have the door that side anyway. These front two are windows, I think. <laughs> For the doorways, I used Mistress of Mystery set. Not that one. Yep, that's the one. No. <laughs> and I think pretty much everything else is just a pine wall. And this one. Then you have to go on the inside and do all of them again. All of the other side. <laughs> if you ever want a scorched officer for um, to get the code for the silo, there is always one that spawns up here. The other day I actually got two, so yeah. Right. Oh, I missed that wall. I think that is pretty much it. I mean, the entire outside was obviously done with the cream. I'd originally planned to do it white, but um, I actually thought it looked better with the cream. Experiment, see what you like. You could do it orange. I mean, you could do it any colour you want, really. I'm wondering whether to continue the brick, because I've raised these foundations. Shall we continue the brick underneath here? 
if we've got enough budget. Now, of course, I've got a problem here now because I've already put these on. <coughs> Excuse me for a second. And the magic of editing! <laughs> I really wish we had a finger snap. <laughs> Emote. That'd be fun. Right. So we're going to put the brick... Um, the brick... If I can select the stupid thing. Wallpaper on here. These can be tricky to select. If you're not used to doing this, be aware that you want to try and select it, kind of move your cursor up. If you select or if you're moving one or placing things, be careful because you can accidentally move the foundation. It's a bit of a pain. So we're going to put this light brick on. See, like that. You got the lines showing like that, you have the foundation selected. Right, now if you want to put stairs here, we are actually going to have to um, flame a trap the wall here, but it's super quick. Random catwalk. Just repair that. I would really have liked to put these on here, but as I said, I tried flamer trapping them. I even tried using the brick, um, and I couldn't get the other foundations on when I did it. So I will have a think about that. Right, um, the inside is pretty much the same wallpaper wise. I did most of it white. I think the only difference was I did the kitchen brick and obviously this was red. For the floors in here I think I used one of these, I think it was this one. and. In the kitchen, I use this tile all the way through and outside and in the workshop. And I think the only thing now we need to do is change the roofs to the red. So just Change up the roofs, swap them out to the red. I've got my eye, I've got my beady eye on that scorched officer back there, wondering if he's going to shoot me on this roof. <laughs> that would be a good way to end the video, Nora bleeding out on top of a roof. <laughs> it has happened. Um, when I started using... Um, custom worlds to film. I was on Scarlet. I think I was building the um, Italian cottage. I can't remember what I called it. And um, I got descended on by Scorched and they absolutely annihilated me and I checked my settings and um, I thought I'd only changed the build settings to, you know, free building um, and the light setting to make, or the weather setting to make the weather always nice. And I'd somehow managed to make the enemies harder. <laughs> so yeah, so I got absolutely smooshed. Hmm. No, that works. I hadn't noticed the edge of white before for some reason. Maybe because this what this roof was higher, um, it was covering the white on the uh, on the other roof. So you might want to do it a little bit higher, but it's up to you. 
It does look more like now, like it's a roof covering just the porch. It looks like a half roof. And the very last thing, which I almost forgot, which is to take two of these, stack them up. I do have a blueprint. And just mer merge them down. Before you place them down over there, do them together so that you can make sure the heights are identical. Like so. Then swap the pattern on this one so you can see the corner places and place your pillars in. You can either do it here or here, well, well, wherever you want, like so. Turn the floor back. I did mention in the tour, but I will show you anyway, I did use these Helvetia doors on all of the doorways and they all open inwards. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, this tree is going through my balcony. How very annoying. So, that is it. I'm sorry the video was so long. I didn't remember this being particularly complicated to build, but I try and sort of show everybody every little trick that I use, and unfortunately there were a lot in this video. But I hope you like it. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. That is all from me today. Thank you for watching.